Now we're going to go ahead and cover pessimistic locking. So let's do another page here. Pessimistic. Oh, let's put that in black. Pessimistic locking. And here's what you have to do to set up your database. Nothing. That you don't have to do anything special because now we're taking advantage of the database and it's built in and it's built in locking and transaction mechanisms. So you don't have to build a column in your table. You don't have to do something that um, sets things up. All you need to do is, is uh, run some code. And unlike the previous episode where I showed in the console using pessimistic locking, I'm going to go through the Rails guide for this one because we're prototyping using a uh, really rudimentary database, SQLite, that does not um, show or indicate what we're talking about. Uh, so with pessimistic locking all you do is you create a block and that it shows here an example where it's the class item but you could also do it on a particular ob uh, object of that class. And the key is that when you're getting that item you add this lock method in your query string. And what that's going to do is it's going to add the right SQL. So in my SQL that means that it adds this for update. And that behind the scenes is locking anything that matches this. So the rows that match this select are going to be locked and so then when you update them here no one else can do them. And it wraps that all in a nice little transaction right here and then the commit is is down here so we got the transaction begin we got the transaction commit down here and so you have a, a very nice way to do locking this th doesn't look very interesting because uh, it's just <clears throat> updating a row. But if you have a transaction where you're locking multiple items and products and clients and uh, so forth, this, this locking may be necessary or helpful for you to um, do what you need to do. And then the other thing I want to point out is if you want to kind of encapsulate both the transaction and the lock into one thing, you can use on a particular item that you've already received the with lock and then it, you have that same block mechanism here. So pessimistic locking is 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 done that way and it's real easy to to get it to work the, the way you want. The, the key <coughs> is to, to make sure you use a database that that supports that and, and we're not doing that right now with, with SQLite, so I can't show it to you, but it, it's very helpful if, if you need to have those locks put in place.